great day starts now. Hello there. Welcome to Medical Monday. Does this sound like you? Forgetfulness, tired, weight gain, hair loss, depression. There are medicines for all of that, but our next doctor says instead of treating the symptoms, get rid of the problem. Please welcome back from the Hotze Health and Wellness Center, Dr. Stephen Hotze, along with his patient, Sean Carmona. Hello. How are you? All right. The symptoms that we just named are the symptoms that you went through and so many other people go through, and they think that they just have to live with it because, as you did, you go to doctor, to doctor, to doctor, mm -hmm. and what do they tell you? They tell me that my levels are normal. I went to my primary care physician. He prescribed me antidepressants. He said, I can help you, and that is, you know, how he was going to help me. I did take them for a few days. They made me so sick. I, I stopped. Yeah. I, I doing googling and internet research i um felt like i had all of the symptoms of hypothyroidism but they were telling you no you look normal i went to a thyroid specialist okay. i thought okay let's just get to the specialist since these are all my symptoms did the blood work and he told me that i all my levels were in range and I was fine, and I just almost started crying because I knew I wasn't. Yeah, I yeah. In fact, I wasn't your family fine. and friends actually staged an intervention. They did because as, they knew that you, yeah, the you, the things to know as was hard gone. as that was. It got that bad that that I had changed so much from what they knew um, to be my personality and my character. They they knew something was really wrong. Yeah, and my best friend yeah. looked at me one day. Same thing with hypothyroidism, and she looked at me and just said, "Where are you?" Yeah. All right, Dr. Hotsey, you hear this a lot where people come in and say, "Look, I've already been tested for that," and they say, "I'm with." Within the range, but within the range is not the same as what you're supposed to be. Well, exactly right. Blood tests are based upon the last thousand blood tests. They get an average, and then they take statistical mean standard deviations so that the range incorporates 97% of the population fall within the range. So you have to be really almost really dead almost to fall out of the range. Yeah. So if the range is as tall as the Empire State Building and used to be up at the top of the Empire State Building and now you're on the bottom floors, you're not going to have as good a view of the city. You're not going to feel as good. Your yeah. thyroid levels are low. That's when you almost cross over into things like you say, like fibromyalgia and stuff. Where you, you, get, just... you get what? So what are the symptoms of low thyroid? The symptoms that uh, Sean had. Fatigue, uh, inability to sleep soundly, depressed moods, joint muscle aches and pains, brain fog. Uh, some women get um, difficulty with weight, although yeah. Sean really had it. She's lost, she lost a little bit of weight, but she yeah. wasn't having a big problem with that. But you said I, you felt like you were slowly oh, dying. Oh, yeah. I, I felt like I was watching myself mm -hmm. dying. Yeah, it was, I knew something was really wrong. Yeah. And so, I didn't know what to do. Dr. Hotsey, so, what's the difference when, when, when she went to other places and had that blood test that said she was within the range? What kind of test are you doing that the shows... The first and foremost thing we do is listen. If you have clinical symptoms of hypothyroidism, we're going to give you a clinical trial. Looks of like a duck, of, quacks like a duck. If it, that's right. We're going to treat it like it's a duck. <laughs> and then we'll see if, you, if it is a duck. And sure enough, if you give desiccated thyroid, we don't use the synthetic, it makes a huge difference because thyroid governs what? The body's metabolic rate, your ability to produce and use energy. So if your range was up here optimally when you were young and now you're down here, it stands to reason your energy level is going to be lower too because you don't have as much thyroid. Plus, it's not how much you have in your blood, it's how much you get into your cells. And as women mature, they have hormonal imbalances with their estrogen and progesterone hormones which governs their menstrual cycles, that adversely affect their ability to properly assimilate thyroid into the cells. Yeah. And then also after you have children, that can happen. Well, and that's hormonal. Yeah. That's hormonal. The hormones go south, and it has to do with low thyroid. So what do you do? You treat with desiccated thyroid, like armor yeah. thyroid or nature thyroid. Use natural thyroid, bioidentical thyroid. Plus, we also treat the underlying female hormone imbalance because we want the body to be able to properly assimilate the thyroid hormones. If we do that, then we help women obtain and maintain health and wellness naturally. Just like Dr. Reddy did with his, that last patient. Get him off all these drugs. This poor lady could have been put on, like most women, on antidepressants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it sounds like if, if the if thi lack of thyroid was the problem, then as you said, you replace the thyroid, bioidentical, which the body recognizes, versus lack of thyroid, let me give you some antidepressants. Well, which is crazy. Yeah. Now, Here's the other, the other test that a person can do for a thyroid. Check your body's temperature. Put a thermometer in your mouth. If your temp what should the temperature be? 98.6. And invariably, women and men that come to our center have their, their temperatures running up 
a degree to two degrees below normal. They run cold. That means they're not producing enough energy because energy, excess energy is what it gives our body yeah. heat. Yeah, and the thyroid just impacts so many other things. It is your, your mood. It is even your immune system. You know, a lot of times you'll find that you're getting little colds and things that you never got Listen, before. Listen, commonly we see people with, with symptoms like she has of low thyroid who have recurrent chronic illness. They're sick all the time. They take an antibiotics, which leads to a host of other problems, including yeast. Mm -hmm. So what we want to do is we want to lead at our center, the Hotel Health and Wellness Center, a wellness revolution that will help men and women uh, not be buffaloed by their doctor into thinking all their problems are in their head. The problems are in their hormones. Let's yeah. replenish the hormones with the natural bioidentical hormones. And you said men and women. A lot of times people think, and I get asked this question all the time, they go, well, do men have thyroid problems too? Or do men have, and do women have testosterone? Ladies, do you yeah. know any men that have hormonal problems? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah. Menopause and problems. women menopause. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They go through a little menopause too. Uh, but yes, it is because hormones are those kind of, you know, every one of us has to have them to live. So it makes sense that when they diminish that we feel the we, negative impact We don't of it. feel well. So why would you give a drug like an antidepressant when your body simply needs hormone replenishment. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. It used to be like, I think in 1900, the average lifespan was about 40 years old, so you didn't need hormone replacement because you're gone anyway. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but, but now we're living a little extra longer, and so this is just kind of that maintenance program of, of keeping up with the body exactly. and kind of turning back those, those hands of time. So uh, how do you feel today, and how long before you noticed a difference? It took about two months, and I started to feel like I wanted to get up in the morning, and I wanted to take a shower. And I wanted to get ready and see what the day was going to bring. Yeah. Um, and it had been a long time since I felt that. So um, and then it, I kept getting better after that. And now I feel 110% better. It is life changing. It's life changing. Yeah. I could say an amen to that because yeah. you're absolutely right. <laughs> All right, Dr. Hotsey brought copies of his book, Hormones, Health, and Happiness, for everyone in our studio audience. This book explains exactly what hormones do in your body and what can happen when you're balanced. He also hosts a radio show, Health and Wellness Solutions. It's Monday through Thursday from 12 to 1 p.m. on 700 a.m. KSEV. And to make an appointment with the Hotsey Health and Wellness Center, you can call 281-698-8698, 281-698-8698, or log on to HotseyHWC.com. And if your husband's acting cranky, you bring him along. All right, coming up, it used to be major surgery.